We review Universal's endless summer resort Surfside Inn and Suites with listener Zoe live from her hotel room on episode 372 of the unofficial Universal Orlando podcast. It's me, Tracy. Hope you're all well. Welcome to another show. Um, yep, I have Lee with me. Hello, everyone. And for hosts, that's it. We just have our lovely guest, Zoe. Hello, Zoe. How are you? Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Yes. Thank you. Even Thank you for having me. <laughs> even though you're there and we're not. Yeah, <laughs> for sorry. six weeks. For six weeks, <laughs> I know. Everyone I've spoken to is like, oh, we're speaking to a friend at the weekend who's staying at the Universal Hotel. Uh, she's coming to the weekender and she's just gone out. And they're like, hang on, that's like one, two, uh, yeah, that's a long time. I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> I thought three weeks was a long time. That's crazy. I know, I'm a little bit crazy. <laughs> and why not? You only live once. But to preface it, you are, what, three days in at this point or two days? Yeah, today, uh, today is my third full day here. Yeah. And you're awesome. wasting your time talking to us. Yeah. No, it's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Zoe, can you introduce yourself? You know, let everyone know where you're from. From a point of view, I, I've said right from the beginning, I believe that the Surfside, well, the end of summer resort at Universal is a hotel that I think will predominantly be people from the UK coming over. So I think yeah. you need to let people know, like, obviously, like Trace said, who you are, sort of where you're from, and how you got to Orlando in the first place. Okay, so uh, I am from England, so I don't live far from London, so um, my local airport is Gatwick. Um, I was due to fly on the 4th of September, but that was um, in the middle of the hurricane. So uh, the flight that I was originally booked onto um, got delayed, but we're extremely lucky that that evening... um, they delayed the flight to, uh, I think it was something like six o'clock that evening we flew rather than the morning. So we arrived um, on the 4th, very, very late here, but we did <laughs> make it safe and sound and the flight was the flight was good. It good. was nice and smooth. Yeah. Who did you fly with? Virgin Atlantic. Ah. So yeah, I booked, I booked the stay through Virgin Holidays. So yeah, it was a Virgin Atlantic flight. Excellent. We well, say once you've flown with Virgin, you'll never fly with anyone else. Yeah. They are amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are good. They are very good. So, yeah, as I kind of alluded to there, I think I I feel that the Endless Summer Resort is probably a resort that you're going to find will be predominantly used by people from the UK, which is why having you on, Zoe, is a really good indication of how Mm -hmm. well this hotel is going to work for people, sort Mm -hmm. of wanting to stay in a universal hotel, but not being on that main property. Yeah. So we've spoken off air before you didn't have a car so i think one of the things that people will really want to know is how how did you get to the hotel um from the um from the airport how easy was that to start off with and then once again how easy was checking and how what was that like yeah um so this time is the the first time that i've uh, i've not had a car so i'm used to going getting the car going to the hotel so uh, this time was the first experience of using Uber from the um, straight from the airport. Really easy. Um, I think it's level two that you go down to. Okay. Then they give you like a baggage claim number. Um, so essentially it gives you an idea of where along level two that you need to stand. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Uber comes along. You make sure you've got the, the right car with the registration. Super easy. I think it cost us... $22, I think, from the airport to the uh, endless summer resort. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. not bad at all. Um, when you consider then, that's yeah. less than one day's parking as well, isn't it? So Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. That's the longest journey. Unless you're going further afield, that's the longest journey you're you're going to do um, whilst obviously out in Florida. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and then arriving at, in, um, oh, sorry. The most ridiculous oh. title of hotel in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then, yeah, arriving at Endless Summer Resort, um, super easy, um, walked pretty much straight up to the, the check-in desk. Um, customer service was amazing, as always, at Universal Hotel and um, obviously throughout the parks. Um, yeah, it's got a, almost like a Cabana Bay feel to it. Yeah, I was watching your video the other night, and even like, no, we're not getting onto the room yet, but it does look very much Cabana Bay-ish. 
Yeah, that's the only other hotel that I stayed in um, on site at Universal. So I can't compare it to the others. But straight away, as soon as I walked in, it had very much a Cabana Bay feel to it. And I love Cabana Bay. I consider that home over <laughs> here. Um, so it was, it was lovely to kind of walk in and go, kind of get that same feeling yeah. that, oh, we're here. And yeah, it almost felt familiar, even though it was a brand new hotel. Um, it was, yeah, it's like a warm welcome. It's lovely. Because that the check-in desk with that wooden sort oh, of wave surf. structure yeah, is really cool. It does look, yeah. it does have a very, yeah. f- even though it looks like Cabana Bay, it does have a very unique feel of its own. Mm-hmm. It does, it does. And that theme runs throughout. So even to, say, the the hallways and, like, the, the decoration in the bedrooms, even, like, the pattern on the, like, the blanket that uh, is on the base of the bed has got, like, a subtle wave pattern. Mm. Um, so it's just the small little details everywhere is just... Yeah, it, the theme runs throughout. It's it's a really good theme. Cool. Have you stayed at any of the other hotels on our drive, Zoe? I haven't. I am staying um, later this this trip, but I've never stayed at a hotel. I've picked friends up before, so I've gone to a mm-hmm. few, but I've never stayed at one. No. Because obviously one of the biggest things with the end of summer is they're competing with those cheaper hotels on our drive. Yeah. And... It would have been interesting to do a comparison mm-hmm. between the two a little bit because it, it is, for all it's cheap, it's not massively cheap. No. Like no. We looked at it for February and it was still cheaper to stay where we were staying. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't worth the extra cost for us to, to stay at Endless Summer, really. Yeah. No, from what I've seen, from when I've um, gone and picked up friends and stuff, it's I'd say it's at the higher end of those resorts. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, whether that's because it's it's new, um, I don't know, um, or whether it's because obviously it's universal and they're kind of pulling in influences from the the other hotels that are slightly more premium. Um, one thing that I have noticed comparing it to Cabana Bay, um, it is almost like a stripped down version. So small things like there's no pool shack, and like the pool is lovely. Don't get me wrong, but you don't have the slides and the lazy river. Mm, right. It's like Slight little things like that that are almost missing from the next level up right. from like Cabana Bay. Um, so I guess that's where the whole influence of the the i i drive hotels come in. They're trying yeah. to be slightly more budget compared yeah. to the on site hotels. But it's nice to have that option. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. And at, at the end of the day, a lot of people are coming here. The parks are so full on that there's so much to do. You're spending the majority of your time there. Mm-hmm. As long as you've got a, a clean, comfortable hotel base, that's what you're coming back to. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, like, yeah, it's nice to have a lovely hotel, but at the end of the day, how much time are you actually going to spend at exactly. the hotel? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've stayed at some dumps on it. I drive in our time. We stayed in a hotel that isn't even there anymore because they bulldozed it down after we stayed. It wasn't so because of us. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> it might have been. That's an interesting story, that one still. But uh, but yeah, um, I think I'm, obviously we haven't been over since it's been built and trying to, trying to visualise that corner of our drive in my mind now of not being wet and wild and being this hotel yeah. complex is just so bizarre. Mm-hmm. It looks so different because obviously they're they're building the um, what's the other one? Dock siding. Yeah, that do- mm. that's it. Dock side on the other other side. So it's almost like you come you come in from uh, the parks um, and you're literally driving down. Is it Universal Boulevard? It's called. Yes. Um, and you've literally got the sort of the two towers, like um, obviously the the surf side and then dock side. It's completely different to what it used to look like. It's bizarre. Mm. But that's an interesting imagine. question then, Zoe, because obviously you're there now while they're still completing Dockside. And has that affected your stay there so far at all? Not at all. Not heard it. I mean, we are the, the other side. So we are um, Tower 2. So as you look at the hotel, um, Tower 1 is on the left-hand side and we're Tower 2, which is the right-hand side. So we're that little bit further away from the construction right. so I don't know if you're in Tower 1 and you've got a, a room overlooking Universal Boulevard whether that might be different but certainly not this side not been affected by it whatsoever oh, that's good excellent because it's not that far doesn't yeah. that one open like the middle of next year I think it opens is it like May yeah. or June or something next year yeah it's well on, under yeah underway the artwork is already down the um, sort of the tower side of it as wow. you look at 
yeah, that that's all done. So it's well underway. Yeah, I think yeah, like a lot of a lot of people were looking at it as a point from like Universal Orlando, but I think putting it where they're putting it, it's obviously in the middle of Universal, but also Epic Universe as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I re- can't wait for Epic Universe. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like some more information first, please. Some more concrete <laughs> yeah. information. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, it's uh, it's going to be an interesting few years. It is indeed. Um, so Zoe, what room are you in? You don't have to give us a door number because that sounds a bit weird, doesn't oh, you it? You can if people want to. Well, this will be, you'll have left by this, so it's fine. <laughs> and, and how is the room? Uh, yeah, the room is lovely. So we've just got a, a standard twin double. Um, so it's not the suite. It's not the one with the, the separate bedroom that sleeps six people. This one just sleeps four, um, but it's more than adequate. Um, the The bathroom layout is very similar to Cabana. So you've got your, your bath and your toilet in, in a separate room and then your wash hand basin um, almost um, sort of adjacent to the bedroom, but it's all kind of open planned straight off the, the hallway. And you walk in the bedroom, two double beds. Um, you get plenty of storage. I'd probably say a little bit less than cabana but it's not hugely noticeable the drawers are slightly smaller um you get your fridge you get tv and there's ample like plug sockets so any like families coming out or sort of youtubers with loads of cameras <laughs> yeah. there's loads of sockets and there's usb and there's usb uh c sockets there's loads that's interesting so, that you get a fridge yeah. actually i've never stayed in a hotel and uh, uh no in a, a hotel in Orlando that hasn't been a suite that's had a fridge in it. Tell you're yeah. telling lies. The first one. Oh, you're right. The one they bulldozed down. Yeah, because it was the noisiest it, thing. It kept popping every ten ever. seconds. Yeah, noise right. the aircon. <laughs> we had to turn and the aircon on to drown out the noise of the fridge. That's right. You're oh right. no! <laughs> <laughs> did it work though? Did it keep things cool? Yeah, it did. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good size fridge as well. That's one thing. Um, yeah, we come back with loads of voodoo donuts last night and we're like, right, we'll pop, and then we'll pop them in the fridge and try and keep them fresh. And um, yeah, it took took them all and there's bottles of water in there and brought UK chocolate because I'm sorry, but American chocolate just isn't the same. I absolutely agree. <laughs> you and Tracy are singing from the same hymn book at that point. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, it's a decent sized fridge. It's good. How were the beds? Were they comfortable? Because I know a yeah, lot of people are funny over. No, they're, they're good. I'm I'm one of these people that I struggle to uh, get to sleep in a new surrounding. Mm-hmm. Um, I expect some of it has been the parks where I'm just so exhausted. But each night I've had, yeah, really good night's sleep. Um, the curtains are blackout as well. Good. So even if you've had a, a late night Halloween horror nights and you want a bit of a lay-in, um, they're blackout. So that's perfect as well. How's your view? Uh, it's not great. We're we're only on the second floor, so right. we're not too oh. high up, and we're overlooking the the car park. Ooh. So <laughs> it's not great. But at the end of the day, like I said, uh, yeah, as long as it's clean, it's comfortable. Well, that's it. That's known as the yeah. Darren Schmidt view. <laughs> that was where you had an aventura, wasn't it, of the parking lot yeah. across the road? Darren always gets the crappy rooms. Oh, oh Darren, <laughs> bless him. Oh. Um, but yeah, I mean, we talked about hotel rooms before, and again, um, I will point people to your vlog at the end so they can go back and keep up with your antics. Oh, um, you. But looking looking at that hotel room, having stayed a lot on iDrive, Tracy and I have talked about it a lot, most hotel rooms in Orlando are the same. doesn't they matter are. whether you're staying at the cheapest hotel on iDrive, the most expensive hotel on Universal property, any of the Disney resorts, they're all, it's one room, Two beds and a bathroom. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. What you're paying extra for is possibly location, mm-hmm. the cleanliness of it. I think the, the the sort of upkeep of the room itself. Yeah. Um but they just look like nice, clean, bog standard Orlando hotel rooms. Exactly. Yeah. But I can't fault it, honestly. No. no. Um yeah. I know it's only been what third night that I've been here, but yeah, it does. It's it does already feel like home. It's comfortable. It's clean. Mm-hmm. The service, even like the the roommates that come around in the morning, everyone's happy. Everyone's friendly, That's and it's nice. those little extras that do make the difference. Yeah. Does it yeah. feel like a universe? So it's interesting. Obviously, it's a, it's a lower level hotel. 
yeah and you've stayed at cabana bay before then Zoe. yeah does it feel like a universal hotel or not it does it does um from the moment that you walk in even the layout of the reception um obviously everyone's in uh sort of like universal sort of attire so from the, like the vacation desk and um sort of the check-in staff um it does feel like you're on site at universal it doesn't feel like it's an eye drive hotel if that makes sense yeah um so it does very much feel like you're in the universal bubble it's not really until that you uh it's not even that it's not even until you go to go to the parks that you kind of have to use the shuttle bus Uh Um, because even with say like cabana bay it's quite a way to walk but it is walkable whereas from here you are going to have to use that shuttle bus even though you're quite close to the drop-off point you're probably closer than what you are say from aventura or cabana um you have to use that shuttle bus Mm -hmm. because obviously there's um yeah there's not the the garden pathway like you get at cabana bay yeah i think you can walk it though can't you because i always remember going to the horror nights that night when Chris Azell came with us and he walked, he walked back onto our drive, didn't he? Okay. I don't know how long it took him, but he's a law unto himself. That's <laughs> you know, it's Doctor Evil for you. But I think you can do it. But yeah, I think it's not like you kind of say with Cabana Bay, it doesn't have that dedicated walking path yeah. to it. Yeah. Funny enough, it's right across the road from the Walgreens on the top of our right. drive. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go there later. So I'll let you know how easy it is because the entrance where like the buses and all the cars come in, the entrance is right down the, um, the far end of the hotel on Universal Boulevard. Right. It's not up the top where the, the big turning circle and the main entrance of the reception is. So I'm hoping there's like a gate along that top edge somewhere um, to save you having to walk all the way down yeah. and back up to the Walgreens. Maybe you can't. So, maybe it's the doing the Disney thing where you're locked in. <laughs> the only way you can yeah. get out is in your own car or on the shuttle bus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are not leaving. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know how I get on. <laughs> you will not go and eat at the cheaper restaurants on iDrive. No. <laughs> Speaking of eating, <laughs> have, you, have you eaten at the hotel at all? We haven't. I popped into the restaurant yesterday just to kind of have a look around, see what they had. Um, and it seems like a, a really good selection of food. Oh, like they do your standard burgers and they do sandwiches. Um, and they do like the standard, say, like the freak style, uh, freak style. <laughs> Where does that come from? <laughs> no, but I like it. <laughs> the Coke style uh, free machines, like yeah. freestyle machines. So they've got them there if you do like the refillable cups. Okay. So oh, it's everything good. that you need. But um, it seems on a smaller scale compared to, say, Cabana Bay. Um, but you've got everything that you need. Yeah, it's a weird one when you look at it from their point of view, because at the end of the day they want you to eat in the parks as much as yeah. you can so they'll give people i think it's you probably find it's more an option for people to grab something quick before they go to the parks or something quick when they come back in rather than staying there to eat exactly that yeah one thing that they um do which i think i don't know if they do it across all universal hotels but they're doing the pizza delivery to the room that's an option. And mm-hmm. on Halloween Horror Nights um, evenings, they're extending um, the opening time for, they're almost setting like a separate pizza pop-up shop. Okay. Um, so as you come in from uh, where you collect the bus, so as you come off the bus, there's like a, um, a separate pizza pop-up thing that is open later. That's good because I remember yeah. when Darren stayed at Aventura for us, yeah. his biggest complaint was coming back from Halloween Horror Nights that there was nowhere open for them to get a drink or something yeah, to nothing, eat. And you'd think like that time of year, you've got to you've got to know that people are coming back exactly. two or three AM in the morning, well, quite it's, possibly. It's a, there wasn't yeah. any, um, there was no vending machines or anything. No, because I think you remember no. he was saying that he had to go Sapphire Falls is such a Did um, I say Aventura? I meant Sapphire yeah. Falls, sorry. Um Sapphire Falls is such a weird because the parking lot's on like the middle level and you have to go down at the bottom to go back up again or something and it just it took them about an hour to get down an hour driving back just to get a drink yeah. so it's good that they yeah. that they've taken that into consideration yeah so I don't think it's like the full selection or you can't just get a burger or a sandwich yeah it's purely pizza but you have got that option of, yeah. of grabbing food and come back let's be honest most people coming back from Horror Nights will have had a good drink so what's better than after having a good drink is pizza <laughs> yeah Exactly. Especially, like I say, catering to the British market again. Yeah, true. 
<laughs> with little kebab vans set yeah, up that's somewhere. What you do. Some food trucks out selling yeah. cheap, crappy burgers, hot dogs and kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they need to get on that. You need to get on that, Universal. That would be awesome. They do. Um, right. Uh, we got to that point. It is time for an ad break. Do you want to ride Hagrid yourself? We'll let Mouse and Muggle Travel Company tell you how. Whether you're new to Universal or a seasoned pass holder, yes, we can book annual pass holder rates too. We can book your trip. So go to mouseandmuggle.com and fill out a no obligation quote request and we'll just take it from there. It's super easy. We take care of everything for you. And it's the same price to book with us as it is to book on your own. And sometimes we're even able to find discounts that you didn't even know were there. So give us a try. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are still here with Zoe talking about her state, Surfside. Was it Surfside? In and Sweets. In and Sweets. No, you have to give it its full title. It's Sunday title. It's the Endless Summer Resorts, Surfside In and Sweets. There you go. Lee said it. Um, Universal <laughs> just have this thing at the moment of giving everything the longest names possible a la Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Mm. <laughs> Which is it why is there's no... It yeah, is, which is, so is which is why there's no way that new Jurassic Park coaster is going to be called the Velocicoaster. But anyway, that's a different topic for a different Yeah, time. that's a different soapbox. <laughs> um, Zoe, can you talk us through the rest of the resort, uh, you know, common areas, pool? I know you kind of touched on it lightly earlier. Have you had a wonder? But sort of the amenities of the hotel yeah. in general. Yeah. Okay, so as you come into main reception, directly on the right-hand side, you have got a Starbucks um, just behind that is the, the restrooms for the lobby. Um, also, in that area, you can uh, refill your, your water drinks bottle. Oh, I was just going to well, ask that. Is, yeah, it's extremely handy. They're quite um, prevalent in Orlando at the moment. I know from watching Tim Tracker's videos, a lot of the hotels seem to be putting them in. Yeah. Another thing that I have noticed, whether this will be the case forevermore, but the resort Coke, uh, the, the Coca-Cola freestyle machines, the ones in the hotels do let you fill up with water. Ah. So you don't need like one of the special uh, the cups with the chip in the bottom. Yes. I've just literally been putting my normal water bottle in there, filling it up with water. And you can also get ice of, out of those machines as well. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the ones in the park, you can get the ice, but it won't let you activate the water. That's fine. You um, just fill it with ice. It'll be melted in about three <laughs> seconds flat. That's exactly what I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> And just hugging it, just cooling myself down yeah. and then melting the ice at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> and why um, not? Yeah, so that's on the all on the right hand side. Then just past that, um the the tower two is on the right hand side. So the lifts for tower two are on the right, and then tower one is on the left hand side. Um so then uh before we go down tower two side, straight ahead is your pool. So there's only one main pool um, at Surfside, but it's a, a surfboard shape, which is pretty cool. It looks like a fish um, to me. <laughs> we said it before, it looks like that um, that religious Christian fish thing. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Um, and then on the, uh, when you're outside in the pool area, um, you've got like a, a bar area that sits on the right-hand side of the pool, cool. roughly halfway up. So um, they serve like an array of drinks. Don't think they serve food there. I think you have to go in the food court, right. but you can bring that out. Yeah, oh, that's okay. good. Yeah, I'm not sure whether that's a, an addition that they'll do later on, but at the moment I believe it's just for, uh, just the drinks that they're serving. And they've also got one of the um, the Coke um, machines there as well. So if you've got that's one good. of the resort cups, that will work. Um, and... One thing that I have noticed, they don't have like a pool shack or anything like that. So if you're after, say, a pool float or something, not sure if they sell them in the, the shop, but say comparing it to like the other hotel resorts, yeah, that's one thing that, say, bringing it down a level for the sort of the uh, competing with the iDrive hotels, they don't have that facility, which is a little bit of a shame. I think it's something that is lacking. Yeah, but like um, you say, I think it, they've, when you look at, Cabana Bay being the lowest on-site hotel, and um, from all intents and purposes, it's it's a decent level. I mean, we never stayed there. We did talk about it for yes. a day or two, didn't we? Because it does look awesome. It's oh, amazing. Um, yeah. Being down on I Drive, there's 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 things they've got to cut to give exactly. people that incentive to go right. 
I like the look of Surfside in, but with what extra we'd get at Cabana Bay or Aventura or Sapphire Falls, I want to make that step up. They've got to push, they've got to give people, that's all right for us because that's our budget. But I've yeah. got a little bit more money to spend. I want to be closer to the parks or I want this or that, the other, and to push people onto those on-site hotels. Yeah. Yeah, no, completely agree. And it's a fair mm-hmm. point. Um, one thing I have noticed with the pool as well, um, near the, the top edge as well, they've got like a, a ledge. So like uh, like a big row um, of like seating along the edge of the pool. So it's quite nice at the end of the day, if you've had like a long day in the park and just want to, cool off um but you don't want to do lengths in the pool you can just sit just sit and relax um yeah so that's, that's quite nice, nice. yeah because yeah. that lake yeah, behind nice. it isn't there yeah, yeah i wouldn't go to sit in there up. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is we're, we're staying at um i won't say where it is um just across the lake so we'll be able to longingly look at surfside and dockside yeah. when we come over <laughs> but it is it's a nice little area around that lake actually yeah. Um, no, so you've got nice views there. It's literally down that bottom end. It is. It's open, so you've got unspoiled views across across the lake. So that nice. is nice. Yeah. How many floors yeah. is the hotel itself, Zoe? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I want to say six, but that might be wrong. That's quite Don't small, know. really, though, isn't it? I suppose when they've got two hotels going yeah. on, it won't make too much difference. Because I always want like. For, yeah, that's it. That the one we said, that's only seven, so that's not bad. Because if you get, I think if you were lucky, you could get one of those rooms at the top and still see into Universal itself. Yeah, I'm just looking. I've got um, like the plan here of uh, sort of the the info sheet that you get when you check in, um, and it says guest laundry and vending is on floors three, uh, sorry, four and seven. So it's at least seven. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, I'm just so if you got on the yeah. top floor, you could potentially, if you got a view out, sort of, there's six. only six. All right. Um, out over our drive that you could potentially see bits of City Walk and Hogwarts mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Because like I yeah. say, we're staying across the other side of the that lake and we could see it from ours. So yeah, you well, should be On able the right to. side, yeah. 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 Looking at this plan as well, it looks like... Um, so you've got Tower 1 and Tower 2. Um, each tower looks like it's split into two sections. So uh, the closest section to Universal and the lobby, um, that is, um, it goes up to nine floors. Okay. Um, and then Tower um, that I'm in, which is a little bit further down, which is the lake end of the tower, is one to six floors. Okay. So, yeah. That's a decent enough size. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit I don't, I'd imagine if you're on floor nine and you've you've got a universal view, that would be stunning. It'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. We've been on top floor with a universal view. Oh, yeah, Obviously but then there. also like coming down the lifts, you can see Epcot and yeah, stuff. That's the, what I yeah, love about Florida. Lift. I love about Florida. If, even if you're staying that far away, if you get high and up, up, up you can see everything. Yeah. Everything in yeah. the, It's so cool. Oh, yes. Oh, it's all you're killing me. <laughs> 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 don't be sorry i'll be there in three weeks in a bit. You will three and a bit weeks don't say that i'm starting to panic i haven't even got any clothes to wear everyone's listening to this going in three weeks what are you going about we're on our way home tomorrow if you're listening yeah. to this when it comes out we're coming home tomorrow boom <laughs> layers <laughs> right do so one of the things we've kind of alluded to zoe is you didn't have well you haven't got a car no it's weird i'm used to doing these reviews after someone's doing yeah. it, not while they are currently in their hotel yeah, room that's weird um, so getting to the parks, you said you've had to use that shuttle bus thing and it's not something we've ever had to deal with before. How easy has that been? It's super easy. Um, so the, um, the exit out of the hotel, um, you go straight through the main lobby into tower one and then there's a door straight ahead of you and the buses are directly out, outside that door. Um, there's a bus for Volcano Bay and then there's a bus that serves City Walk, Islands of Adventure, and for studios. Um, and I've never had a problem. I've never had to wait for a bus. That's good. Um, yeah. So generally, sometimes you, you get on a bus and you have to wait five, ten minutes before it departs. But there's normally a bus there. It's air conditioned. Um, there's more than enough seating for everyone. I've never never had to stand. Excellent. Um, 
Yeah, it's a really good service, really good. And equally, um, on the way back, um, the bus uh, stop is literally just down the bottom of the escalators. Um, so as you come out and uh, you've got like the security area where you have to go through first thing in the morning, get like your bags checked and everything, yeah. just literally down the bottom of those escalators. And that's I think good. that's also where the taxi pickup is. So anyone who's used Uber or the taxis, it's that same area. I think they've just changed that, haven't they, where the Uber and taxi drop yeah, off. Yeah, okay. I seem to remember talking about it. It's on, I don't know, some level two or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but it's really easy to get to, and again, there's normally a bus there. If it's not, it's there within a few minutes. Um, so yeah, they're about every every ten, fifteen minutes max. Which is um, bad. No, yeah, not at all. Really not. You think potentially staying there, even with a car, it could be worth you while using the buses and not even taking your car over, because you're like technically, because you'd be paying for parking at the hotel uh-huh. if you haven't got an annual pass. Um. You're potentially paying for parking at the hotel as uh, at the parks as yeah. well. Even if you have a car, it could be worth just getting those bus if it's as easy as yeah. you're making it out to be. So it just um, it, it potentially something that people could consider. That's exactly what I've done in previous years when I've stayed at Cabana. So I've had the option of taking the car um, or taking the bus because I've had the car with me on previous trips. I've always taken the bus because by the time you go to your car and then you go through, you get into the parking lot and then you've got, say, like a 10 minute walk. In, it's just, yeah, it's just so much easier just getting the bus and then it's there. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's a really good bus service. It's really good. Are they themed? Are they themed buses? Um, no, oh. they're, they're very much universal buses from the outside. Um, you can see them coming a mile off. <laughs> <laughs> um, but on the inside, it's um, it's pretty standard bus, but they've got like a TV that sort of showcases the parks and plays universal music. And so when you're on there, you get sort of that sense that you are on a universal bus, but it's not overly themed. Mm, yeah, it's yeah. bus themed. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the yeah. perfect thing. Talk about talk about perfect theming. <laughs> it's themed just like a bus. <laughs> as long as they don't theme them like UK buses, we're fine. <laughs> yeah yeah it's true we need to work a deal that out universal where they play our podcast over the bus yeah, on the buses be that would be cool put people off um <laughs> so you said you'd yeah probably get me off of you um <laughs> stayed at cabana bay i think the obvious comparison for a lot of people will have stayed at Com- uh, cabana bay so just giving an overall comparison between endless summer and cabana bay for me um if it come down to if it was exactly the same price um i would go with cabana bay um if it come down to uh, say a price difference that i couldn't stay at cabana bay and i could afford to stay at the Surfside, i'd be more than happy staying here um the level of service the the standard of the rooms um the shuttle service is just as good as as cabana bay the location um yeah I can't knock it. I really can't fault it at all. Because it is kind of six and two threes between where Cabana Bay is. I mean, how long did it take you to get the, to the parks on the on the bus, Zoe? Um, what, from Surfside yes. or Cabana? Uh, Surfside, uh, probably just less than 10 minutes. And I'd say Cabana Bay is probably more like 15. Really? So yeah. that seems bizarre. Yeah. When your class is Cabana Bay as an on-site hotel, yet Endless Summer isn't. Yeah, because it's literally straight along Universal Boulevard and you're there. So you've got a few sets of traffic lights to go through, um, but that's it. Whereas obviously Cabana Bay, you're on property and you're kind of the other end of the property that you've got to kind of work your way through to get to Universal Boulevard. Yeah, Yeah. I think an interesting point of view with talking to you as well, Zoe, is going for Horror Nights. And I know a lot Mm -hmm. of people would tend to worry, like getting to the parks that easy in the morning. But then what happens if we stay to Horror Nights till two o'clock yeah. in the morning you know are the buses still going to be on is it going to be weird getting into the hotel and and what from what you've said it they are geared up very much knowing that horror nights is happening and that they are going to have a lot yeah. of people that are going to be coming back to the hotel at stupid o'clock in the morning hungry exactly that. yeah exactly that it's it's almost as if um it's business as usual so they extend the park park hours for obviously the um halloween horror nights and yeah. that has a knock-on effect with the bus service and um obviously they've extended the uh the, th- the food available um even though it is like a limited service yeah they very much uh 
they're aware that people are around, they're still up, they still require the services of the, the buses. And yeah, just because, yeah, parks are closed, it doesn't mean that obviously the um, services aren't aren't required. So yeah. they've, they've very much geared it up. Yeah. And that's good because like I say, from Darren's experience at Sapphire Falls, um, that's something they have learned from, was that last year? Yeah, I think it was. The last year? Wow. So, yeah, that's good that they do need to consider that because especially how um, how busy Halloween Horror Nights is getting, yeah. Zoe. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Every yeah. year it's getting busier and busier. Oh. And they're adding more and more nights and it's it's not counteracting it. It's just as busy, if not yeah. busier. I need to ask, what was the longest wait you saw last night? So Zoe was there last night, was opening night. Yeah. That's brave. Um, longest wait I saw. We we left quite early. It was only about half nine before we left. Um, but at that point, the longest I saw was about 140 minutes. And that was for Stranger Things. That's Ghostbusters. Yeah, Ghostbusters was just behind that. I think that was about 120 minutes. Still two hours. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. We'll see you all in line going through our RIP tour. Hello, everyone. The unwashed masses. <laughs> right i'm gonna throw this in because i haven't told zoe this and i haven't told tracy this either but we've kind of reviewed the hotel we're only at 36 minutes zoe we've never had you on before we're going to throw our rapid fire questions at you (laughs) okay (laughs) oh um, okay (laughs) go for it go on then trace no thinking just answer the question is that me or zoe (laughs) either or (laughs) hogsmeade or diagonally diagonally Forbidden Journey or Escape from Gringotts? Escape from Gringotts. Hogwarts Express, London to Hogsmeade or Hogsmeade to London? London to Hogsmeade. Spider-Man or Transformers? Spider-Man. Shrek or Minion Mayhem? Minions. Minions. Really? Even 2D? Shrek, though. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Duff or Wizard's Brew? Duff. Yeah. Pumpkin Juice or Flaming Moe? Flaming Moe. (gasps) Oh! Blues Brothers or Celestina Warbeck? Oh, Blues Brothers. Mm. Megatron or Optimus Prime? Megatron. In ride effects, fire or water? Fire. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Frog Choir or Ragtime Gals? Frog Choir. Nice one. Oh, I knew I said I knew like like Zoe. Uh, (laughs) Grinchmas or Mardi Gras? Oh, Grinchmas. I don't think there's a wrong answer there. Oh, well, I'll find out in February and let you know. I can't believe you oh, no, just said it. that. Well, I've never done Mardi Gras, so I'd love to. I'd absolutely love to, but yeah. yeah. We'll let you know I'm what it's like I'm not done either. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> uh, Ma- Mardi Gras Parade or Macy's Parade? Macy's. Very pertinent question. Halloween Horror Nights, IP or original? Oh, Original. There's a hint into how good this year is there, mm. I think. Yeah. Halloween Horror Nights again, Express or Stay and Scream? Oh, Express. See, I need to Even take that is... one out because Darren just says, the answer's both. Well, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, Zeus Landing or Kid Zone? Zeus Landing. is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Port of Entry or Production Central? Port of Entry. Absolutely. Thing is now, Zoe, if you don't turn up for Tracy's tour, she's gonna be very upset. <laughs> <laughs> what tour? <I'm> there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Leaky Cauldron or the Three Broomsticks? Leaky Cauldron. The Hulk or Rip Ride Rocket? Rip Ride Rocket. Oh, see, <laughs> oh, you're just endearing yourself even more to me, <laughs> Michelle. Did you hear that? <laughs> I'm determined to get her on it. It's never happened. It won't. It's never happened. <laughs> um, one fish, two fish, or Kang and Kodos? One fish, two fish. Islands of Adventure Lagoon or Universal Studios Florida Lagoon? Islands of Adventure. Back to the Future, the DeLorean or the Train? DeLorean. Reign of Kong or Revenge of the Mummy? Oh, Mummy, it's got to be. Um, Zoe, have you done the Hollywood Drive-In Mini Golf? I haven't, no. Well, I can't ask you that question then. No, but you should. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. You really should. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. Finally, the lighthouse or the globe? Oh, the globe. <sighs> yeah. I have to put a cross by your name there. <laughs> <laughs> the lighthouse is the right answer, I'm afraid. <laughs> the globe should it, be, though. It should be, yes, yes. you're right. Yeah, but I just love the lighthouse be. so much. 
I love it. Of, of nighttime, you can just see the light going around yeah. in the lighthouse. Yeah. yeah. And I like how it's just, it's, it's an extension of port of entry in the actual, like outside of the park. Yeah. So yeah, you're, like, you're there and you're kind of in the park, but you're not. So. While we're still going, I'm going to throw some other stuff oh, at you. Oh, good grief. Zoe, you said you have a fridge in your room that's currently full of voodoo donuts. Oh, so I'm going yes. to throw which voodoo do you do at you. <laughs> that's a lot of ooh sounds. Okay, out of the ones that I've gone through so far, which isn't that many, I've only tried about three or four, my favourite is the dirt. Ooh. All right. We have not so, had that one yet. Spring donuts, and then it's got um, Oreo frosting on top, and then crushed Oreos sprinkled over the top. I'll take your word for that one, then. <laughs> You're not an Oreo fan. No, she hates them. But... Not much of a chocolate fan either. Although Zoe, do you have intentions on trying the three Halloween Horror Nights donuts that are currently in there? I have. They look amazing. I was so tempted yesterday, but I, yeah, I ordered like three donuts, so I was like, I, can't, I thought you were going to say can't. three dozen there for a second. <laughs> I'm like, I can't make it six or more. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going back. I really want to try. Well, you will be going back because you'll be part of the weekend yeah. and we are having them for breakfast on yes. Sunday morning. I really want to okay. try the, well, I really wanted to try the Dracula one. Yeah, it does look good. But it's got yeah. Oreo Bavarian cream in it. And she doesn't like Oreos. Cause she's weird. Well, if, even if it was just chocolate Bavarian cream, I wouldn't try it because I had too much chocolate. Sometimes I've had the other two. Yeah, well, the Stranger Things one looks awesome with yeah. like the, the M&Ms being like the lights. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, Let's yeah. continue to throw things at Zoe. Oh, Zoe, okay. how many houses did you get through last night? <laughs> we only done the two, but we did also do Academy of Villains. Ah, how was that? Really good. It's Amazing. all metal this year, isn't it? Rather than techno, from what I've oh, heard. Oh, interesting. Which is right up my alley. And there's almost like a story that goes with it. So it's all linked. Like each section is kind of linked from the previous section. So it kind of tells a story as it goes on, which is cool. Awesome. Mm. Have you tried any of the food or drink yet? I've not tried any. I didn't have chance last night. It was all about the houses and staying yeah. in queue. No, I haven't tried any. I have to report back. Yes. I was going to ask you something else. Mm. It's gone out of my head. Oh, yes. We were talking beforehand. You've got to ride Hagrid's twice at this point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did it live up to the hype, Zoe? It's phenomenal. That's... It is absolutely incredible. That's not what I thought you were going to ask. What we thought I was going <laughs> to ask. Have you ridden motorbike and sidecar? I have. Oh, which I one? need to put that into prefer? the Q&A now, yeah. yeah. Motorbike, a thousand percent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that was my first first experience. That was the, uh, the ride vehicle that I had for the first experience. And it's just incredible. Cool. Yeah, it... It, like ev- what everyone has said, it feels like you're riding a real motorbike, and you like the banks and the turns. They're not just shallow banks. Mm-hmm. You're properly banking. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible, and the launches are so powerful. It's amazing. Oh, Excellent. I am hoping yeah. it will be the first ride we ride this year. <laughs> we'll see. Is that your favourite ride on property now, then, Zoya? Do you have something Without else that is? A doubt. It is. Without a doubt, I would even say like my favourite ride in Florida before this trip was Flight of Passage. Oh. I would probably even say it's a completely different ride, but adrenaline rush-wise, yeah, Hagrid's has got it now. Ooh. Probably my favourite. It's just, it's really fleshed out Hogsmeade now, hasn't it? Just watching the videos we've seen, it fits into that area so much better than than um, Dueling Dragons did, the Dragon yeah. Challenge, whatever you want to call it. It just, it makes that area so much more immersive now. Yeah. And Universal never fail with the Harry Potter stuff, like the level no. of detail. And it's they they know it's going to be a popular ride. So the, the queue is a long queue. You have like quite a lot of uh, sort of the pathways to walk through before you even get like close to the ride. But it all looks like it's been there for such a long time. It's all mossed up. It all looks aged and weathered. And even when you get inside, it's silly little things. Like there's a, a section where you go through that it's almost... Um, like you're inside a cave or it's almost been like hand carved and it's, yeah, you're inside this dark area. Um, they've painted on like varnish onto the walls. So it looks like in sections where like waters come down. Oh, cool. Okay. They didn't need to do that, but that is the level that Universal have gone to, to add in those small little touches to just rather than making it look like a cave to make it look like it is weathered and it's, 
old and it's leaking water and it's awesome. The level of details, yeah. They, they've uh, yet again they've pulled it out of the bag. That's a phenomenal outfit. Awesome. Yeah. Are you done throwing questions? Yeah, I think have so. You, have you run out now? Yeah. Yeah. Hotel well, <laughs> reviews can only take so long, can't they? <laughs> yeah. I just thought it's the first time's always been. Yeah. I mean, let's get to know her a little bit. Thank you. I like that because that, <laughs> that that sounds like it's always coming back on. Oh, well, she Which, may well be. Yes. Well, I she will so be. I expected to take. Yeah. You will be. I'm sure your voice will be heard at some point during the weekend because I am recording lots of audio during the weekend. So yes. I'll be <laughs> running away and hiding. <laughs> it won't be. I need someone to hold my hand. So yeah. So thank you for coming on. We've had a, an absolute blast. It's been, been lovely having me. Yeah. Would you like to plug your YouTube channel? Okay. So I have got a YouTube channel. Um, it's called The British Life. Um, so despite the name, it was meant to be it was meant to be about tourism in the UK, but my love for Florida has just literally taken <laughs> over. So it's turned into essentially a Florida YouTube channel now. So yeah, it's called The British Life. Um, I've been doing it about five years and I've come to Florida. This is my, my fifth trip now. So there's quite a lot of yeah, Florida content on there. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. I know the feeling <laughs> we started off, this is the unofficial Alton Towers podcast, and we thought, well, I love Florida too much, we'll do what Orlando instead. A lot of crap. Yeah, there's a lot of crap, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, as usual, we are going to end the show with another Universal Is, and this one comes from Gary Maybank. Now, if you want to be involved with the Universal Is, send your answer to us uh, about what your Universal Is Three words or less, please. And you can send that to us at podcast at youyourpodcast.com. I've just realised I've missed a what? trick. We should have got Zoe to do one. Ah, well, why don't we have two? So, yeah, okay. Go on then. Okay, Universal is my happy place. You would be amazed how many people <laughs> have sent those exact three words in. <laughs> and it just shows how true it, it is. It really is. Yes. And Gary says, <laughs> Universal is heaven on earth. See you next time. Cut. Print. That's a wrap for another episode of the unofficial Universal Orlando podcast. Never miss a show by subscribing on Apple Podcasts and leave us a rating and review while you're there. Not an Apple user? You can listen on Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, or your podcatcher of choice. Email us any questions or comments to podcast at uuopodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Just search UUO Podcast. Keep up with the latest news, rumors, and updates on our blog at uuopodcast.com. Thanks for listening. See you next week.